Wait, so you're financing that 144 months with 15% APR. You know that's like 12 years, right? Yeah, 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 bruh. Hold on, bruh. Wanna listen to my mixtape, man? Uh, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. I just I just hit 3,000 followers on Instagram. I'm, I'm insta-famous, man. I can already feel the money rolling in. Hollywood, here we come, baby. So, have you actually been paid by them yet? Well, nah, 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 but when I do, I'm sure I can afford my monthly payment easier. See, right now it's 2800 and if I do the math correctly, I make 4000 at my day job. 4000 bigger than 2800 I'm good, man. I'm good. I can do this. Clout is a hell of a drug. It's crazy how many people in the city just want to buy a car to pretend to be somebody. They should be doing the opposite. Become somebody successful first, then buy your dream car. That's certainly more preferable instead of going into mountains of debt just to flex. If you've been following my Twitter, you'll know I practically complain weekly about all the insane financial idiots I've met here in Atlanta. I want to call the banks snakes for giving out these loans, but where there are mice foolish enough to chase a desire, there are going to be snakes ready to feast. These borderline predatory loans wouldn't be as prevalent if people here just had some restraint. And before you use the argument, oh, it's their money, stop telling them how to live their life. Yeah, that argument doesn't work because it's the bank's money, not theirs. And damn, they gave the bank one sweet ride. So do I recommend financing a car? Short answer, no. Long answer, this video. I won't deny the fact that tons of people finance these days, and I'm not going to pretend that I'm somehow cooler by paying in full. At the very least, for those financing, I can offer you as much information as possible to prevent getting burned with a crap loan. So, let's get to the actual meat of this video. I've shown you what constitutes a financial idiot, which alone should make you cautious, but caution cannot serve as sole guidance. So, now that you know what's wrong, let me show you what's right. Aside from paying in full, of course. Down payment. 20% minimum. Heck, I'd go as far to say 33%. Anyways, I don't care if some websites say 10% or even 5%. That's horrendous advice. If you can't at least do 20%, then you can't afford the car. Wait. I know people like to use the excuse of, This is my passion, therefore I can spend however much I want on it. But that excuse only runs so far. Even if you're passionate about cars, know that passion and obsession are not the same thing. Passion is built with love, obsession is built with desire. If you let your desire get out of hand, that's how you get trapped in ridiculous car loans. Having a cool car that you weren't financially prepared to own, that's not a sound way to sleep at night. If anything, it will make you hate being a car enthusiast instead of enjoying it. Even worse, these are the same people who will eventually leave the community and then start saying stuff like, man, car guys are cultists. Man, they're all slaved to debt. And no, that was only your experience due to your own stupid decisions. Real car guys don't do that. We buy cars that we know we can actually afford. And truth be told, car guy are not only idiots make themselves infinite slaves to debt. Annual percentage rate, or APR. For new cars, try to aim with anything that begins with a 2%. If you can go lower, go lower. But a good credit score will net you a number in that ballpark. For used cars, the APR does go up considerably, but the sticker price will also go down considerably, assuming that you're looking at cheap used cars like you should be. With decent credit, most banks will tell you that it's okay to take 7% APR, but if your bank tells you that, they're screwing you over. Don't do it. 700 is what would be considered a great score for most car buying situations, and if you're straight out of college and have garbage credit, wait until you get 700 because it's very easy to build credit through other means. A car payment is a very expensive payment. 10% APR on a car, way worse than like 10% APR on like a Cabela's club card where it's like a $500 limit because 10% APR on 500 is obviously going to be smaller than 10% on a $10,000 car. When it comes to the loan period, 48 to 72 months, 60 is the norm, 48 is optimal, 72 at most. I don't care that the national average is steadily approaching 84 months, that's a stupid trend for stupid people. For those of you viewing who do by chance have a car loan that is that long or even worse, and you're watching this video because you're seeking some confirmation from a fellow car guy in hopes that he's not going to repeat the same thing every other financial channel does and I'll give you the good old thumbs up and green light. Well, I've got bad news for you. I will repeat the same thing every financial channel does. There's good reason why they give this advice. Go on, smack the dislike button if it makes you sleep better, but it's not gonna make your loan disappear. Regardless, I hope you stay long enough to hear me offer you an escape. Get a cheaper car as soon as possible. 
get rid of your car before depreciation catches up. Because trust me, if you bought a brand new luxury car with an 84 month loan period, depreciation will catch up faster than you realize and you will go upside down on your trade. I don't care if CarMax is going to take your BMW for $1,000 under market, get rid of it. A lower payment on a used car will make you happier and it's going to save you more than the initial loss. When you're financially prepared, you can buy that Beamer back. Heck, you might even be able to buy something nicer. Another thing to keep in mind is the more paid off a car is, the more able you are to mod it, able to enjoy it, able to beat up on it, and just not really be as stressed about ownership. It actually becomes fun. That's what really frees you as a car guy. I will take owning a cheap car that I can build any day over an expensive supercar that I'm just going to drown in and never truly be able to enjoy, much less touch, because it's not even mine. It's the bank's car. After going along with all the financing and getting the numbers settled, here's where bargaining comes into play. Now, a lot of dealerships will use the four square method or something very similar. And what's going to happen is most people only focus on bargaining up their trade and bargaining down the price. And there are actually other things you can do. People who work at dealers sell cars really often, every day if possible. You, on the other hand, buy a car once every 10 years. They actually expect you to beat them up. It's kind of to feed your ego. It's to let you feel all cool that you're getting a greater deal than you really are. They have a number set in their head about the lowest they can get beat up to. And you also have a number in your head saying what you want from them. What I would do is find that number. Keep beating them down until you know they're upset. And then beat them down a little bit more. And the best place to really push for prices is also bargain your APR as well. And they're always going to pull the line, look. If we drop the price of the car, your APR is going to go up. Or look, if we take your trade in for more, we're going to make the APR go up. And what you can say is, no, 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 300 a month. That's just an example. You got to have your own number set in your head. Tell them that 300 a month is your goal. Just sit there and be like, look, I'm going to leave if you don't get this. They will take that sheet of paper. They'll go back. They'll talk to their manager, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes they don't actually even do that. But they'll come back to you and be like, look, we, we can do it. We can do it after all. And all you had to do was ask, and that's the most fantastic part. Don't be the guy who does not ask, because when you're the guy who doesn't ask, you make their day. Don't make their day. These guys don't deserve your sympathy. Like I said, they've been doing it for several years. Once all the numbers are settled to your liking, and you do finally bargain everything properly, don't quite sign yet. Make sure to ask one last question. I'm not going to be punished if I pay this off early. And the reason you should ask this after the numbers are bargained down is because if you do this before you bargain the numbers down, they're going to think you're going to intend to pay the car off in one year or something. So they're going to be like, oh crap, we're not going to make much money off this guy. We need to jack up the interest. We need to keep the prices stiff. But once all these numbers have been agreed upon, they really can't go back on their promise. I mean, technically they could. They could still be like, oh, well, actually, now that you asked that question, the price has gone back up. <laughs> Leave the dealer, all right? Just seriously, walk out the door. I'm not even kidding. Another reason you should leave is if their answer is, yeah, there is a penalty to paying it off early, and here are the fees. Before they can even say the first digit of whatever the fee begins with, you should already be out the door. Screw dealers and banks that try to force you to finance the entire loan period with no early way out. And with that said, that concludes my noob's guide to car financing. So, how are you feeling, Johnny? Er, that's a nice McLaren. When'd you get that? Earlier today. Why? Did you win the lottery? Or perhaps you got on promotion at work? If so, congratulations. Or maybe you... you... You took 144 month exotic car financing, didn't you? Yep. Oh god damn! <laughs>Hey guys, Blade Angel here, and if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends or other people who need this advice. Also, if you just found it funny, I put a lot of work into making these, and I actually enjoy doing this. I actually feel like I have content I could be proud of. If you like it, make sure to subscribe for more of these videos in the future. Other than that, thanks for watching, and see y'all next time. Blade Angel out.